Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing very well. If you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure that you click that subscribe button. Got lots more videos coming out very, very soon. And uh, I'm going to a couple of events in the next week or so. Um, so please stay tuned for that. Can't wait to share that on the channel with you guys. Some very exciting content coming soon. But in today's video, I'm back to the auto art collection. Now I, um, I released a video maybe a month ago now um, just as a part two to my auto art collection where I show you guys my my whole die cast collection really which I focused around auto art signature models. Now auto art probably is my favourite manufacturer for die cast model cars and I'll be going into why and um, how I've amassed so many models over the years um, and almost why I miss auto art models. Now auto art are still releasing models now you can still go on their website and um, and buy their um, their new range of models and they have made some pretty good models since releasing the kind of signature series models which used to be their their flagship models back in the day around 10 years ago um, but now they've completely stopped making signature series models now and i'll go into a couple of reasons why they've why they've done that and why they've moved on to um, their new range of model cars and what type of cars that they're um, they're making now and they've also done exactly the same with 143 scale, which I'll show you guys too. Um, but, you know, I get comments all the time about, you know, your, your auto art collection. Um, it, it, it tends to be kind of the center point around my model car collection as a whole, even though I've got, you know, around 20, 25 resin models as well. If you haven't yet seen my resin model car collection, I'll leave a link in the description to that. So you guys can check out both of those videos. But um, I suppose... Auto art for me is is kind of the best all round die cast model car manufacturer you can get, especially for the signature series models. Now I remember buying the kind of CCX around 2011, 2012 when they first came came out by by Auto art, and I paid around 150 pounds for this model. So it wasn't really really expensive at the time, like some of the C's, um, CMCs or Exoto models which tend to cost a lot more money. And then some of the resin models at the time as well were an awful lot more money, like the MRs and the BBRs. So I wanted a model that was first fully open in, fully, um, and you can open up all of the compartments on the model, um, a die cast model, and one with, you know, with, with a really good level of detail. And Auto Art just completely ticked all of those boxes for me. Um, it was affordable at the time, um, really high levels of detail and really kind of really good levels of kind of overall craftsmanship all round and i love the fact that you get the certificate with the model you get the leaflet with the model you get the opening tool with the magnifying glass the the um, the cleaning cloth it's really the whole package that comes with the um with the model which i i really like and it kind of ever since buying the ccx i moved on to a couple of the veyrons and then i came back i got the agera to match the ccx I grew out the um, the McLaren collection and then the Pagani collection and kind of over the last kind of 10 to 15 years I've amassed around 24 auto art signature models so it, it takes a lot of time um, and I wasn't lucky to kind of get all of these back um, back in the day directly from auto art so I have had to pay a lot more money for some of the um, other models that I missed at the time um, so I remember kind of going into the um, the model car shop in London um, buy, to try and buy the Pagani Zonda R. They had one left in stock, but it had a, um, a defect in it with the wheel, and I didn't buy it, and I could have got it for around £180. Um, maybe I should have bought it, because, you know, it wasn't that bad. But, you know, I had to kind of get one a few years later, and I paid probably double and a bit more money for it. And then same with the Revolution. But I bought the, the blue one, direct from auto art for 200 pounds probably nearly 15 years ago now so an awful long time ago and then um, yeah these these cars have been absolutely amazing and definitely some of the best die cast model cars you can get period um, regardless of the money i think they are really high levels of um of detail for all of the models really and then they make some of these other brands as well like the, the maseratis the hondas the the lfa the lambos which are also really good good models, really rare now, especially kind of the LFA and the NSX. 
Um, and I suppose, you know, not knowing this at the time of buying most of the collection, that Auto Art have done really well in terms of holding their value. Now, not for the, for the most part, some models haven't, but for the most part, um, these models have hold, held their value quite well. So as you guys know, the Kearney's eggs have held their value quite well. The McLaren, the Pagani's have done really well over the time. And definitely some of the um, the other brands like the, the Hondas and the Lexus as well. So all to art signature definitely is my favorite. And I am quite sad that, they, that they've stopped making them now. I think they've, they've stopped due to cost really, cost to make the models. Um, you know, it's cheaper for them to carry on making their newer line of models now. So that's probably one of the main reasons why they've why they've stopped it. And they have made some good models since the 918, the Huayra BC, um, and some of, some of those other kind of composite line models are actually quite good. I wouldn't say they're on par with the Auto Art Signature models, but they're definitely good models. And if you're new to the, the hobby or you want to start collecting Auto Art models, I would recommend them, but um, I would try and find some of the older signature models online um, to add to your collection as well. Um, they are rarer, it's gonna take a lot more effort to try and find some of these models online, but um, if you can try and find them, I'll definitely recommend you guys getting them. Um, but Auto Art Signature didn't just make 118 models, they also made 143 scale models as well. So like the CCX in there and the Veyron, they're all Auto Art Signature models, so they do come with the um, certificate of Authenticity, um, which is really, really cool. Um, and they are very exceptional, highly detailed model cars. So, you know, they, they really were kind of my favorite brand and I absolutely do miss uh, not buying their, their their new models because I know that, that, that they're not signature series. Um, but again, I think I'm really happy with the, with the collection that I've kind of accumulated over the last 10, 15 years or so has taken me a lot of time to try and find all these models. I'm sure that, you know, you guys as collectors, you know, realize that sometimes trying to find these models and once you find them, the deals don't always go through or there's always some issues. Um, but, um, you know, managing to collect most of the um, the models that I've that I've wanted to collect, um, I am really happy with, with the auto art collection and I haven't even managed to get all of them in here at the moment. So I think I've pretty much maxed out my um, my cabinet so far. And then obviously I've got the BBR models at the bottom as well, the Enzos, which are um, great models to um, to collect. What the BBR have done um, is, is is absolutely great for those diecast models. So, you know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below about Auto Art Signature, about Auto Art as a whole, whether it's still worth kind of buying them. Um, and do you miss Auto Art Signature models? Would you say that they are the best um, diecast manufacturer? Um, I think they are in terms of an overall package that they offer. But yeah, keen to hear everyone's thoughts below. Please like, please subscribe. I've um, got lots more videos coming soon with some cool events. But um, until next time, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Bye.